So when you're planning your scrapbooking page, lay the line it up tool over your cardstock or patterned paper. Then grab your photos and lay them on top. Once you've got a layout that you're happy with, get a scrap piece of paper and you can sketch the layout you've just planned. Once you've sketched your layout, you can make note of the measurements, writing them down next to the photo so you know where to put them back when you're constructing your page. Now from the sketch you've just created, you can construct your page. So taking out your Line It Up tool, starting with your first photo, take off the adhesive from the back of your photo. Taking note of the measurement on your sketch, line your tool up against the edge of the cardstock or patterned paper and placing down where you've measured. Starting with your largest photos first, I find that always the easiest. Place them down one by one. making sure that the Line It Up tool is square with the edge of the paper. Now you're ready to add your title to your page. Lay the Line It Up tool over your pattern paper or cardstock, making sure it's aligned with the side. Add adhesive to your lettering and at the top of your Line It Up tool, lay it down. Then you can use your quarter inch increments to space out your lettering evenly. When matting your photo with your Line It Up tool, the easiest way to do it would be to cut a mat half an inch larger than your photo. For this we're using a 6x4 photo. Then you bring your Line It Up tool one quarter of an inch in from the side. Apply adhesive to your photo and adhere it quarter of an inch down from the top and lay it down. That way you know it will be quarter of an inch all the way around. And there is your completed photo.